welcome to the Sand again. Rivet here. Uh, today we're going to make something delicious, a, an Italian-inspired meatball soup. Today is day two, being socked in for the winter weather. Yesterday we got near an inch of ice and sleet, and today is round two of the same storm. We're going to get another inch of sleet on top of that. The National Weather Service has issued a storm warning. Everything is closed and shut down here in town. What better way than to stay warm, right? Uh, everything you see here we had on hand, uh, not going to the store. Um, I kind of wanted basil for the soup, didn't have it, but I found pesto pre-made. Uh, so we're going to use that instead. Off camera, so we got a couple pounds of uh, 9010 lean beef. So let's go ahead and get started. Now we've got the meatballs made with only salt and pepper in the beef because we want uh, that to bring out the beef flavor. It's very tasty and it'll absorb the other flavors from the soup uh, without overpowering it. Uh, what we want to do is just in a little bit of uh, butter and olive oil, well quite a bit of butter actually, um, just seal the outside of the meatballs. Uh, so they won't disintegrate in the soup. They don't have to be cooked all the way through because they're going to finish cooking in the soup as it simmers. After about 20 minutes over number four heat, uh, the onions are starting to get really nicely caramelized. So to that we're going to add the pepper and the red pepper flakes, uh, two generous teaspoons of uh, minced garlic. Now I forgot to show that at the beginning of the video, and the uh, pesto. That's about a quarter cup of pesto. And to that, we're gonna add um, eight cups of beef stock. Oops, that's just better than bouillon, and I'm making a mess over here on the side. But uh, we'll get that heated through and the pesto melted. And here's a nice Italian trick. What we wanna do is cut the rind off the wedge of Parmesan. Oh, it's tough, but that's what we want. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut it into small pieces, just like that. And we're going to add it into the soup while it simmers. Great way to use a hard, tough rind, and it adds a ton of flavor. The uh, pesto is dissolved now, and what we're going to add are the uh, pieces of the Parmesan rind. Uh, we'll mix that in, and now let's add the meatballs. Okay, all the meatballs are in. Stir this up nicely. Uh, now we're going to bring it to a simmer, cover it, and cook it for 30 minutes. I don't know if you can hear it right now, uh, but we're getting thunder sleet. Yeah, the thunder's rolling and the sleet is coming down like crazy. All right, so 30 minutes in, uh, we simmered the uh, meatballs. Now we're going to add the vegetables and we'll cover that and cook them for another 20 to 25 minutes. All right, 30 minutes in, you can see now the vegetables are all nice and soft and good to go. Uh, we've got our pot of boiling pasta water next to it, so now we're going to add three cans of these cannellini beans, uh, juice and all, and uh, just heat it through, covered, until the pasta's done. Then it's ready. All right, so here we have a steaming bowl of the bow tie pasta, and the reason why I did it this way is because if I add the pasta in the soup, with the leftovers, the pasta is just gonna swell up and get all mushy, and I don't want that. So, uh, Let's go ahead and ladle the soup on. And there you have that steaming beauty. So for garnish, we're going to put a little bit of drizzle of olive oil in there. Um, we have some chopped parsley, which will add brightness and color. And of course, we can't not have the Parmesan cheese. So let's go ahead and with the microplane, grate some on there. And there you have it, a bowl of delicious meatball soup. Let's go ahead and taste it. Okay, we got the spoon here. We got all the delicious bow ties and the beans and stuff, so let's try it. 
I've already tasted the broth for seasonings. It's it's just right. The better than bouillon had plenty of salt in it. Mmm. Vegetables are nice and firm, not mushy and falling apart, which is good. That broth is amazing. I am glad I caramelized the onions. There is an undercurrent of sweetness from the onions in there that counterbalances a slight bite from their red pepper flakes. Oh, yeah. Wow, let's try a meatball. As you can see, they are perfectly cooked. Let's try it. Ooh, it's hot. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good beefy flavor that absorbs some of the soup. Very good. Um, don't over season your meatballs people because it'll stomp all over the the soup itself This is perfect, and we've got thunder sleet going on outside Perfect bowl of soup. Thanks for watching